It's like a fine wine. This is the 42nd <laughs> year for Ohio's largest one-day festival, <laughs> celebrating the weather forecasting world. The one and only Dick Goddard is here to tell us what you'll find this weekend in Vermilion. Dick, good morning. How are you, man? Well, I, I'll tell you what. I'm glad I don't have to... Uh, go with that morning rush hour of traffic except once a year. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah that's, uh, right. that's right. Really? Well, here uh, from Brummer's uh, oh, Candies adorable. in Vermilion, oh, these you. are the official uh, How cute. suckers, uh, nice, the woolly nice. bears. There you see them. Can I okay. also say I have some gummy bears from Brummer's as well? Yes, yeah, these are not the, these are delicious. These are not the losers from last year, but uh, oh. anyway. Uh, <laughs> the losers? <laughs> what? The no, loser worms? The loser worms. The they do such a great job with, with all do, the different man. chocolates that we're looking at. And yeah, we have uh, Sandy uh, Coe from Vermilion Chamber, and Heather is here, and uh, we've got Daniel. You'll meet him later. Uh, but He's anyway, and these I'm are the T-shirts. If you come dressed as a caterpillar, and later we'll give you the timing of the events. If you come dressed as a caterpillar, you will uh, receive a Woolly Bear T-shirt. Wow. I draw, draw with Joe Wood. Uh, now, you, you draw those yourself, though, don't you? Yeah. yeah you do. I, I, you should be proud of that. Oh, he is. Well, I am. I'm proud of everybody yeah. that helps. Yeah. Yeah. It's a free festival. It's family, fun, free from Fox 8. You can't beat that. So uh, if you show up, and again, a little later, we, in this segment, I guess, we'll be showing you the timing of everything and the bands that are going to be with us. One year we had 32 bands. Wow. 32? The parade took over four hours. Here is the uh, roster. Right? Yeah. yeah. We've got uh, over half a dozen now. One year a band showed up unannounced. Uh, luckily they were high steppers because they followed the horse uh, contingent. And so you, you better be a high stepper <laughs> and move quickly if you're marching behind the uh, horse uh, contingent and we're going to have all kinds of animals there folks and uh, there'll be animals there for adoption and uh, we'll show you how the event goes uh, about nine o'clock things get going uh, over at the the ymca will have their world's greatest kids race and uh, then we get into the uh, well uh, we're bringing a band up from florida a reggae oh, band no kidding. Future presidents, that's going to be a wonderful that's addition. Awesome. Yeah, they're going to perform twice at 9 and again at noon, just before the big 1.30 parade. Here are the bands now, by the way. And, uh, well, Elyria. We have a mascot mm -hmm. challenge. Yeah, we were going to ask these, you, these? We were gonna ask you do a mascot challenge, put you on the tip. But before we do that, yeah. 42 years, so people have kind of grown to know it. How did it all get started, Dick? Okay, I went to the uh, Valley City Frog Jump. Took my daughter there back in 1972, and it was such a wonderful event. And on the way back, my daughter said, you know, she was 10 at the time. She uh, said, why don't you uh, do a woolly bear? I said, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. and that was it. Okay. And that first festival in Birmingham, south of Vermilion, we had one band. And uh, Boy Scouts dressed as caterpillars, and it was such a short parade, I suggested they go around twice. Or better yet, <gasps> march in place, and we'll have the people there <laughs> walk around and it'll yeah. seem a lot longer but now uh, it is really incredible. Over 100,000 people go. I mean, it's just, it has we, to amaze you. We don't charge, and the police give us a figure after every event, and uh, they reckon maybe 100,000 people show up. Who's this big fella behind you over that there? That is, thank you, Wayne. That is Wolford the Woolly Bear. Wolford. You know, he's the Woolly Bear. You, he really, he, ne he never changes. I don't know. <laughs> the age. And Wolf he, Wolford like has you. something oh, for here, you, have Wayne. A, have a hat. <laughs> Wolford, <laughs> could you put that on? Probably. <laughs> well, well, uh, thanks, sissy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look like the rest of us, okay. Wayne. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> and Dan, Daniel Coe is on the end there. He is uh, kind of a mascot for us. But uh, yeah, I love mascots, and I try to uh, come up with all the names of the mascots. Of course, in Vermilion, it's the Sailor, the sailor. Uh, yeah. Band yeah. and yeah. the whole rigmarole. It's a wonderful community. Well, you've been there. Oh, You'll all be wonderful. there. Do you have oh, a favorite Sunday. part of the parade? You're involved in uh, well, so much the animals that show up, and of we'll course. have hundreds of animals again. And uh, Lou Maglio, here's the parade. 
Uh, that's the Vermilion High School Sailor Marching Band. We have assigned Lou Maglio the job of, uh, there's Lou. <laughs> Is he a judge for the... Uh, well, well, he'll be, and Scott, and uh, he'll be marching behind the equestrian units with oh, a shovel. With a shovel. shovel. That's very guy, important. Right? And Tracy oh McCool gosh. is there. Who's that guy? Look like that Kenny Crumpton to me. Beautiful. Yeah. But uh, oh, again, okay. it's such a wonderful event. I can't mm -hmm. say there's one part of it that's... Talk about the weather, though. Talk about what the strike means. Okay, yeah. Right? Well, if you believe in, there you go. If you believe in Mother Goose right. and uh, the Tooth Fairy, you got to believe in the Woolly Bear. That's right. And it is the orange color in the middle that is uh, the key to how winter's going to go. And if there's a lot of orange, a little snow. We had over 20 inches above normal last winter, and we'll see at the end of the uh, event on Sunday how all the hundreds of caterpillars that show up. And uh, the fat and fuzzy ones will suggest a very cold winter. And youngsters, don't pick up any caterpillar and fondle it in your hands. You could get a rash. Mm -hmm. And uh, so be very circumspect about that. But we do have the race, and there'll be probably 200 caterpillars racing down the track. The Woolly wow. Bear 500. That's that always a fun, fun event. It's, it's so exciting, yeah. yeah. Really. And we'll all be there as well. Yeah. I hope so. Too. Thank, thank you for I hope you're wearing that hat when you show up on Sunday. You, know, you never know. You never know. <laughs> Waves, I don't think he's going to take it off. I just may wear it tonight. You, know, <laughs> well, you look terrific. <laughs> if you didn't look good, I would say so. But <laughs> are, are we, are, if Eric Benet <laughs> can wear these hats, do you remember when Eric was in here? I don't think he wore the hat, though, but that's okay. Wait, you have the clip, Trish? Will you run it? There we go. <laughs> okay. I swear I thought he had the hat, Wayne. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> okay. But Eric was a good guy, though. He was oh a good sport. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was so oh, proud. Yeah. He so wore that all year. Eric can wear a hat, then hey, so Okay, Wayne. But see, he's got his yeah. tilted on the side a little. Well, you know, hey, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Well, we, we showed the, uh, <laughs> uh, that Wolfer, what a, what a character. Like a <laughs> we showed the bands, but we do, th here's the event schedule. I hope we have that. They'll show you how it's all going to go. Beginning at 9 a.m., we'll have the re reggae band at the bandstand coming all the way up from Florida. And uh, then at 9, also over at the YMCA, we'll have the world's greatest kids race. Here we go. And there you see how it will go. And uh, we are also going to have Big Chuck and Little John. Oh, of course. They will be emceeing well, the Woolly Bear 500 race at about 10 o'clock. And then uh, by 11, we're ready to judge the uh, Woolly Bear costume co uh, kids and the pets. That's always cute. Yeah. And at 130, we're going to step off with the parade, although the reggae band will also perform right after noon up until the parade begins at 130. And that's just going to keep going. And eventually, at the end of the day, we're going to have Todd Maney. You may have heard of him. And Who? I'll introduce you. <laughs> His band, Ace Moller, I always wondered how they came up with that. But they'll perform, and that'll lead up to the finals of the Woolly Bear 500 Caterpillar Race, after which we will be able to determine how winter is going to go. Yeah. Last winter, Can you they give said us a harsh. Sneak peek? Have, you, have you looked at any of the Woolly Bears yet? Yeah, it was how last it, Wednesday, I opened the front door to where I live, and there was a woolly bear Ooh. right there, but it was all black, which was, as you know, at Pantheria mm. Panther de Florada, right. yeah, yeah. the false woolly bear, so right. you get a bad forecast if you use those, yeah. but they come in all shapes and sizes. They're like 2,000 caterpillars, yeah. and they spend winter as a caterpillar. They don't freeze up. Okay. They have sugar alcohol in their body. Wow. Everybody that shows up will get the... I already got mine. You guys the, well, yeah, the Woolly Bear I created with the help of Did Joe Wood, our ace uh, artist here at Fox 8. And uh, this is the flower called Leonidas. It is the official Woolly Bear Ooh. flower. And where can you find that. those, Dick? And that's from Tiffany's Florist in Beautiful. Vermilion. I love the little Woolly Bears yeah, in there. In the so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and, you so much, well, Dick. Thank you for having me. getting up early. On does yeah. that mean you get the night off? I, I'm not, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to come back and plug the uh, Worm Festival. 
But uh, if you don't have a good time, you'll get your money back. But that'll be easy because <laughs> we are charged. It's <laughs> well, you definitely have a good time. It's so always it's a free event. Oh, uh, yeah. coffee. We've got a special coffee. Can you reach that? Yeah, the coconut, me? right? Well, oh, yeah. they make a new one every year. This is, uh, these aren't the Wooly Bear Losers from last year. But uh, it's called... <laughs> Grind them up? Wooly Doodle. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. This is coffee. And uh, is caramel, chocolate, and sweet flaked coconuts from... Oh. Oh, yeah. Decidedly different there in Vermilion, yeah. and you've got Brummer's uh, Candy there. It's a wonderful organization, and so many people conspire to make this thing work. And I can't thank all of you enough, but if you don't have a good time again... Uh, it's your fault, yeah, not it's, yours. It's their fault. Yeah. Yeah. And no, you're it's giving it's away fault. stray dogs and cats there too, right? Yeah, we'll yes. have animal adoption groups there leading the contingent. It would be and the wonderful paper paper blah, from the I'm glad I don't talk for a living. But <laughs> the Woolly Bear uh, 42 souvenir edition from the Photo Journal in Vermilion. It is a wonderful keepsake, and make sure you pick them up. These are free. Also, it's a great festival. And uh, we've got pictures of the Canine Companions for Independence. They will be leading the parade, and uh, that's a wonderful organization. And you've got the magical train uh, coming again, uh, Dick Willow from Barberton. And, uh, we don't want to give away all this stuff. they got to come see everything. Right. Well, you've got to come <laughs> so to make it come. work. It's, it'll yeah. be such a great day, weather-wise, too. Just beautiful. Sunday. In Vermilion. That's we'll a rumor. see you in a few minutes. Stay close. Thanks.